Hey everybody, um, it's Christy here. I am sending this message because um, I wanted to let you know all that happened at the Vacation Bible School staff meeting um, on Sunday. And I am just going to review everything in case you missed the meeting. Um, I want to make sure that everyone's on the same page and that um, you have all the information you need to know to be successful and to ha for all of us to be able to have a really good Vacation Bible School. So, that being said, I want to thank you so much for serving. We could not do this without you. Um, there are literally over 100 staff people. We are always short. Um, we always need help. So if you know somebody that's in sixth grade through adult that can help us out, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, we need to know who they are in advance so we can talk with them and chat with them and make sure that they have the proper um, t-shirt and um, name tag and all that so that we know who they are um, on staff. So um, we are having a induction for the Vacation Bible School staff on the morning of Sunday, June 19th at 1030 in the morning. And um, Pastor's going to do something special for everybody, so you're welcome to join us for that. Um, there is a Vacation Bible School CD that is available with the songs that we are going to be singing for the week. And there's a couple songs that are new and a couple songs that are um, songs that we've sung for a few years that the kids really like. So um, I have those CDs available. You can pick them up um, anytime. And if you're not going to listen to it, then you don't need to pick one up. But I would encourage you, uh, especially if you're going to be in a cabin, um, to be able to listen to the songs and know them so that you can um, sing when we actually have Vacation Bible School and that you're not just learning the song at that time. So, um, Vacation Bible School staff t-shirts have been ordered already. However, if you do not have one, um, the staff shirts are yellow. There might be some that we can beg, borrow, and steal from other people. Um, and there may be possibility of me making some last minute orders, but I'm not sure. So, um, if you don't have a Vacation Bible School staff t-shirt, please, please let me know. Um, and if you do, that's what we're asked to wear. On some of the other nights, we do have dress up nights. And so we're asking that you do wear your t-shirt, but then you can be, um, creative and really, really over the top in all the other ways. Just, we need you to wear your t-shirt. So Sunday night is wear your favorite, um, team shirt or you can wear a team hat. Obviously, you're going to wear the VBS t-shirt, but you can wear the t a team hat. Um, you can wear team socks. You can have shoes that are colored, this, the team that you like, um, bandanas, uh, whatever. You can can do, go wild with that. We're talking um, that evening um, about um, <clears throat> Jesus, and we're talking, obviously, we're talking about Jesus. Um, the theme for that night is uh, we win, we win because of Jesus. And the theme verse is um, Philippians three thirteen to 14. Forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me, having word in Christ Jesus. So the whole theme that night is going to be prize and that we win the prize because of Jesus. We can't do it on our own. We win the prize because of Jesus. And so we're encouraging everyone to kind of be festive and be in their team attire. Um, Monday night, we're having superhero night. Seriously, go wild. We want you to, um, you know, have capes and masks and all that kind of stuff. We want the kids to dress up to superhero night. That night um, is going to be awesome. So the Tuesday night is bring a floaty and wear a life jacket. So if you have a floaty or a life jacket, we want to encourage you to do that. I mean, even the ones on your arms, you can go for it, okay? And then Wednesday is wear your sunglasses night. So if you have sunglasses, you want to be goofy with... Um, you know, sun stuff, that would be awesome. And then Thursday night is going to be you wear yellow night, which we're already wearing yellow for our t-shirts, and we're going to encourage the um, students to wear yellow too because um, we're going to be uh, letting our light shine. So um, it's all about camp. It's all about fun, and the more goofy you are, the more the kids will just think this is a really fun place, and, and we want them to know that it is and that it's awesome to be a Christian and to love Jesus and to know him as your personal uh, Savior. So... Um, my contact information, my phone number is 719-6639, so um, make sure if you have any questions, if you text me, call me, I'm available to talk to you. Um, the best thing to do is to ask me questions beforehand. The worst possible place you can ask questions is on the night of VBS or the weekend before VBS. Um, there's going to be a whole lot of last minute things that occur that I'm going to have to be dealing with. And so if you have questions, ask them now, message me now. Um, I'm available and I will be available vacation Bible school week, but that first night especially is really kind of hairy um, with everything. So please make sure you put that in your phone and then let me know. Um, 
We have a schedule. The schedule is on this purple sheet. Um, you are going to have a packet of information that I'm going to put in your box. It's going to be in your box in the, in the church. If you do not have a mailbox, I will have it on my desk and I will get it to you on Sunday, if not before. You can stop by and get it anytime this weekend um, or on Sunday. Uh, preferably, if you can get it before Sunday, that would be ideal. I want you to have as much as time as possible to go through everything. Um, I'm going through the majority of it here on the video, but there's some other paperwork and stuff that you can look through that are particular to each area, and I don't want to spend time doing that today. So, um, so the schedule. We have the schedule here. The cabins that are not the preschool area all follow the schedule that's on the top here. And we have um, the where you're going to be meeting, in which room, and if you need to know where that is, then um, talk to me so that I can show you where that is. And um, staff is thrive at 5.30 um, every night, um, and as soon as possible I realize that people work. And then we have registration opening, and then we have the assembly at 6 o'clock, everybody's in the Family Life Center. Um, and then from there we go to dining hall we say a prayer and then we go to dining hall we all eat together it's going to be a meal so it's not just a snack like a traditional vacation bible school but we have an actual meal we actually have the in the package you're going to have the list of the menu so you know exactly what's going to be going on and what we're going to have to eat each night it's going to be plenty of food for everybody and you don't have to worry about trying to get food because you can come and you will be able to eat when we have dining hall and then we go to our cabin time and from cabin time you stay in your cabin and each cabin focuses on um, the cabin stuff that you're, that's going on in your particular cabin and everybody is doing different things. Um, we have about 120 some students registered. Our goal is 175. Um, we had 190 some last year that registered. Not all of them come the same day, but um, we want to encourage you to invite, invite, invite uh, more and more students to come and join us. So we have a preschool area as well. The preschool area schedule is listed on the bottom here and is completely separate and completely different than the other cabins. So make sure that you are aware of that. If you're helping in the preschool area, it's different than the actual um, kindergarten through fifth graders. <clears throat> Safety. Um, you should never, ever, ever be alone with a camper. Uh, we should always um, be in groups of two, um, two adults with uh, one camper, um, two campers um, can have two adults, whatever, but there needs to be two adults wherever you are going, preferably. Ideally, when you're in transition, you should go to the restroom at those points so that everybody goes to potty and then go to the cabin, and then when you're transitioning back to the assembly, maybe that would be a good time beforehand to go to the restroom so that we're not having to go back and forth um, and have two adults with a student to go to the bathroom. We should never, ever let a student go to the bathroom by themselves. Um, case in point, last year, uh, we had a situation um, where someone came in and stole my purse at the beginning of the Vacation Bible School time. They, um, if there were kids here, there would have been um, the opportunity for that person to um, cross paths and where the bathrooms are, that person would have been right there. And if you would have sent them to the restroom from there on their own, who knows what would have happened. So anyway, um, it's very important for us to follow the safety standards and there's stuff listed in here. And there's stuff that, um, there's another piece of paper that I have provided um, what to do if that kind of gives you some helpful things as well. If you're having difficulty with a certain student, please contact me as soon as possible. Every cabin is going to have a radio and I want the leader um, to be able to use the radio and if you need something then call for me. Don't explain what is gonna what the situation was on the radio but call for me so that I can come there or call for registration so somebody can can be there to help resolve the situation. You don't ever yell at a student or a child or hit them in, uh, inappropriately or in any way and if you do that we're gonna be asked uh, you are going to be asked to leave right away. Um, I know that no one's going to do that, but I want to make sure that everyone is aware that that is not something we tolerate. Sometimes we do get frustrated. It's a long time, long days. Um, you're working and then you come here and you're working with the students and the students um, sometimes um, get a little challenging, but we have to love them, love them, um, treat them as Jesus would, and um, just love them to pieces. And if we have a situation that's difficult, please, please, please talk to me as soon as possible so that we can get it resolved. 
We're going to have a, a staff photo on Tuesday, June 20th. Emma Bruni is our um, photographer, and she's going to take a photo on Tuesday, June 20th at the beginning of assembly before it starts. So the sooner we can get that over with before the students get here, the better. And we're going to quick take a, a big photo, and then we'll all disperse to our own areas. So um, closing, we have a family fun night. It is completely... Um, not a rotational night. So the last night, nobody goes to cabin time. You only go to cabin time um, the first four days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then on Thursday, everyone's going to be gathering in the Family Life Center, in the um, gym in, in that area. And we are going to have a celebration of all that we did throughout the week. The parents and the family members are going to be invited, and the students are going to get to highlight what they have done um, throughout the week. So, um, all staff are asked to be there. I know that some people have already told me that they can't be there. If you know that you are not going to be there on Thursday because of a situation, you're going out of town early, whatever, I need to know immediately because we need to make sure that there are adult staff people on that particular day um, to be there. And even though we don't go to cabin time, we have all the students in our care and we need to make sure that we have enough people um, to be there. <clears throat> so, um, we have reflections on family fun night, one person from each cabin. Um, select one person or at the most two people to be able to verbally share or physically share something that you did exciting throughout the week um, together in your particular cabin because as I said, every cabin is different so it's gonna be an awesome time to highlight all that. Um, so we'll start off with a song, we'll do a skit from Cody and Bees, we'll have a few more songs. Um, we have the Bible event. Um, share the Bible memory verse, we have the meal prayer we eat, we have the cabin reflections, the cabin video, I mean the reflection video, and then we reveal whether or not we um, fulfilled our mission project. And so, um, did we make our goal? Our goal is $1,500, and um, I'm going to explain a little bit more about the, the um, offering mission project in a little bit, but suffice it to say, the pig can't come um, this time, and so we are going to get a dunking booth, and myself and any of the other staff people that are willing and able to um, go in the dunk tank are going to get to go in the dunk tank, and the kids can dunk us in water as a result of their hard work. So our goal is $1,500, and it's going to be an awesome, awesome night. So clean up. Um, clean up is Thursday night. You can clean up Wednesday night after Wednesday because we don't go to cabin time. You can clean up your cabins on Wednesday. But on Thursday, we will need some help to take down everything in the main area, the staging and the limited decorations that we have, as well as the tables because there is a Family Life Center rental in the facility on that Friday, and we need to make sure that everything's down. Plus, they start doing stuff with the floors. So we need as many staff people as possible to be there. It is our responsibility to clean up um, that night um, before um, Friday to clean up for our family fun night. So um, the Let's Go Change the World project, we have a little handout here. The Let's Go Change the World project is really awesome. Uh, we are going to be sponsoring Big Heart Orphanage in Reynosa, Mexico. We have actually been to this orphanage as a group like 12 years ago. Um, we went twice in a row to help um, Big Heart Orphanage. Um, Gator is the uh, leader that leads that. He's an awesome man of God. And um, we were connected through a Lutheran church down there. Um, the orphanage is a place where students um, in that area who do not have a wonderful place to live, they maybe live in horrible conditions, they come and if they do not have a good place to live, the orphanage takes them in. They have a warm place to sleep, they have warm meals to eat, um, cooked meals to eat throughout the week, and then they have the opportunity to go to school, which they may not be able to do when they are staying in their home. Um, they get to stay there a minimum of two years. Sometimes they stay there as long as they can until they graduate, and even further than that, even if they want to continue their college studies. Um, we went there before they opened their first school. They now have three schools. It is an awesome, awesome organization. They teach Jesus in their school and in their uh, orphanage and it is amazing so we are going to try to raise fifteen hundred dollars last year we and the year before we went way past those things so we are going to ask the children to collect change to 
um, provide for this Let's Go Change the World mission project. And I have no doubt that it is going to be an amazing gift offering that we can give to um, those students that live there. So take a, t take a peek at this in your little packet and you can also check out um, their website it is bigheartorphanage.org bigheartorphanage.org you can check it out there's some videos there it's pretty awesome so we are still as i said in need of um, helpers we need people to help us with decorations we still need some help in the dec uh, registration team um, if there's somebody willing to do the bible memory verse listener that would be awesome um and if there's somebody willing to be a song leader, that would be awesome as well. Um, and I also have to ask the question, if you need a babysitter, we um, will provide a babysitter for those on staff who need a babysitter. As of right now, no one has said that they need a babysitter. And we need to know in advance so we can ensure that somebody is here to babysit your children. So if you or somebody on staff needs a babysitter, um, please let us know. We don't want it to be, well, I can't serve on the VBS staff this year because I don't have a babysitter. We will get a babysitter for you and your family if you are on staff. So be sure that you know that. And it's at no cost to you. Um, it is free because you are giving of your time, talents, and treasures for Vacation Bible School. Um, security, as I said last year, um, had a Come to Jesus meeting. Um, had someone come in my office and steal uh, my personal belongings out of my purse. That person is since been in jail and um, has done that numerous, numerous times. We do not want that to happen again. So I have lived and learned. I make sure that my door is shut. And because we are in all areas of the facility, it is very difficult when there's so many people um, to be able to lock the doors at all times. And so we ask that you do not bring your personal belongings. Um, into the facility. If you do, they need to be locked up somewhere in my office or wherever. I noticed, um, so I talked with some people at the meeting. They said, oh, well, they just brought it and put it on a pile. We're going to ask that you not do that. Or you carry a backpack with you and you carry that with you at all times on your back, wherever you are. Since it is camp, that would be totally appropriate for you to wear a backpack. Um, don't bring it into or don't put leave it in your um, car either that will be the next thing someone's gonna pop out windows and get it some people asked about if you could leave it in your trunk that's totally up to you um, ideally whatever you need if you absolutely have to have it I would have it on a backpack that you carry with you and you have on you at all times not setting the backpack down but that you would carry your backpack with you with your personal belongings otherwise don't bring them um, you're gonna have food to eat here um, if you have keys or something um, you know, put them in your backpack or put them in your cabin uh, backpack that you're carrying around and then get them after class. Um, <clears throat> also, keep your eyes open. Again, we don't want to have the situation that there's tons of people that are on our campus that we do not know. 80% of our students are actually, 80% our of our campers are actually people not from Holy Cross. So it is likely that you may not know them. And even if you are from Holy Cross, there's likely that you won't know everyone. So it is very important for us to keep our eyes open and to be welcoming to everybody. Um, last year, had our eyes been open, um, we maybe had would have had a conversation with this person. They would have got spooked and not gone. I understand that that girl actually was seen um, in the Family Life Center in the um, foyer area, but we're not sure uh, for sure that that was. But had somebody gone up to her and said, hey, what's your name? Maybe um, it would have de deferred her or whatever. But I want to make sure that everyone is welcome. That is something that we need to make um, a very big priority. We want everyone to walk on our campus to feel that this is a very warm and welcoming place because it is. We have wonderful people. We have a wonderful place where they can learn about Jesus and we want them to feel that this is a safe place for their children and we want them to know that they are welcome here. And so we want to make sure that everybody walks up to everybody and says, hey, my name is so-and-so. What's your name? What campers um, do you have here? Talk to them about where they're from. It is important for us to talk and chat and welcome people. Um, to our campus and so make sure that you are getting out there you are talking to as many people as possible that we get their name and we get to know a little bit about them um, job descriptions there's gonna be a job description for each individual person because you're all in different areas and so you don't have a packet for that but I want to make sure that that is in your packet of information that's going to be in your box make sure that you go through that um, 
it's just a brief description but I am going to make sure that you get with your um, leader if you are a helper and leaders if you have helpers in your group I have a packet of information in this folder that has every single person's cell phone number this is for a text message list everyone will be on a text message list and you can text them or call them directly so far everyone that has um, volunteered to serve I have their numbers and these are all cell phone numbers so you can text and I think everybody um, has received text so far that I know of so leaders you are responsible to call the persons in your group that are assigned if you only have like one helper then it is your responsibility to try to find more helpers to be in your cabin I'm doing my best that I can to make sure that we have enough helpers but we are short every year and people always ask me well if you really need help then I'll do it and if you need help at the last minute I'll do it well I'm telling you right now 30 days in advance we will need your help because something happens somebody has an emergency someone's not able to be there and we need people to be there to fill in and so I assure you that we need more helpers so if you are a helper in the cabin don't wait till your leader calls you call your leader text your leader make sure that you are on the same page it is important for us to know everybody that is in our cabin um, I talked about this at the last meeting um, we need to know everybody that is in our cabin last year or the year before someone came up to somebody and asked to speak with a person she was not a member of our church she, uh, that person was not known by this other person that worked in the cabin well that parent then is probably a little uncertain and nervous because the people that are in that cabin don't know each other so we want to make sure that people know each other because it looks kind of bad if we don't we're working with people that we don't know and we're just letting anybody come in here and serve and that's not the case um, we do know them we do have connections with them and we need to make sure that you know them and you know the people that you're working with so get in contact with your people leaders and helpers alike make sure you call, call each other and if you can get together beforehand so you can walk through everything that is very 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 important it's also very important that you are aware that when um, we have the opening I want everybody as mo the more people as possible to be in the opening I realize that in your cabins you may have some things you have to do beforehand and you're coming from work um, if there is all possible if you would only have one person back in your cabin if you absolutely have to and then have all your other helpers in the main area to be there to um, have the Bible time and to and to have the worship time that is very 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 important what we don't want to happen is everybody stays in their cabin and only one person goes in there and is in the big room to take care of the students and then what happens is the students come back to the cabin time and they think oh well that that part isn't really important it's just the cabin time and the main part of what we want them to know about is actually in the main event we talk about the Bible story there we talk about the main um, theme for the day and it is very very important that we all are participating I want you to be over the top I want you to be excited I want you to be standing up and clapping if you do have a situation where you are unable to stand or clap or do those type of things due to just um, not physically being able to I totally understand that I don't want to put you at risk I don't want to put you in a situation where you're uncomfortable or unable to get up off the floor um, you can use a chair if you need to sit but um, it is proven time and time again that if we participate the students will participate but if we just sit there and we just listen and we don't do anything and we don't have any fun they are not going to have any fun either and that is not what our purpose is here our purpose at Vacation Bible School is for them to realize that having a relationship with Jesus is amazing and wonderful and life changing and it is fun to be a Christian it is fun to have Jesus in our life and it is a responsibility for us to worship him and to praise him and we can do that with all of our heart and soul and mind and that's what we're going to teach them at vacation Bible school so if you can please make sure that your staff and people in your cabin that as many as them as possible are in the opening and the closing um, that's important um, also just a point of information if you do any projects during the um, cabin time if you would make sure that you bring those items back to cabin time um, when we check out um, this is not pertaining to everybody but when we check out of the cabins you're going to be having an assigned area in the dining hall that is your place um, to check out the parents check out their children from that 
area. We're not going back to the cabins. They need to check them out at that area. And if you have a project that you did that day, that's where it can stay when you arrive for opening or for the closing time. You can set it at the table and then go to your area um, to sit. And then when they go to check out, their parents can check them out. They can pick up their project and take it home with them. Um, it will be easy peasy. And I will try to make sure that we don't get out late, that we get out on time. Um, there's the last day sometimes is a little bit or the first day is a little bit of an issue but we are going to do the best that we can to make sure you get out um and make sure every person has a name tag we have to have a name tag and you have to have that on you and you need to wear your staff shirt um and if you have any questions about anything else um please 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 let me know um, there's a ton of information in the packet. I don't want you to be overwhelmed. I highlighted most of it in this video, but you will have a envelope that has information pertaining to your specific area and it has all the contact information of everybody in your area. So it is essential that you go and stop at the church and you get your packet of information and um, please make sure that you um, listen to this video and if you have any questions to message me. My number is 719-6639 and I want to make sure that you are ready and prepared to have an awesome time at Vacation Bible School. We cannot thank you enough for serving. Um, we need every single one of you. Every single one of you is different. You have different gifts and talents, and that's what we need because every child that comes into this place is going to be different, and we are going to be able to reach out with them, reach out to them in many amazing ways. So be familiar with the themes, be familiar with the music. Be familiar with what you are asked to do. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much.